Hello everyone and welcome to the part 12 of this series. I really hope you enjoy them and you find them useful. There are some of you that already shared that they helped them to pass the exam and I'm really, really glad to get such feedback. If you have ideas, comments uh, for improvement, don't hesitate. And now let's get back to work. And for today's video, I prepared another example based on built-in roles because this is a question, as I already mentioned, this is a topic that you can get lots of uh, questions from. And we have three users. We have an owner, a security admin, and a network contributor. The company we are referring to has a virtual network and you can uh, expect to have uh, these two questions. The first one would be which one of these users is able to add a subnet to this virtual network? And the second question would be which one of these three users is able to add the reader role access for a specific user? So for the first question, add the subnet. Um, in this case, the owner is able to do that. And why is that? Because the, the owner has full access to everything. You should keep this in mind, even in real life, this is quite important and is quite useful. And also the network contributor has, um, has this right. And you should keep in mind for network contributor, but we'll also go to the documentation in a minute so that you can uh, see that more clearly. Uh, so the network contributor has access to manage virtual networks. And um, you're, we're going to see that it doesn't have access um, to them, but lets you to manage them. For the second question, only the owner, you can see this uh, colorful line in here. So only the owner has access to add reader role for another specific user. And if we go, and actually uh, why uh, the network contributor cannot do that? Because it doesn't have access to assigned roles. Same for security admin. Uh, doesn't have this um, this role. And so if we go to the documentation, so Azure built-in roles, and if we search for network contributor, we'll take this one. We're going to see in here that it has only read access for roles and role assignments. If we search for the second one, which is security admin, you can also see that it has the same permissions to read roles and role assignments. So, uh, so it doesn't actually doesn't have access to assign roles, and this is um, this is what you will need to know for this. Let's stay a bit more on um, built-in roles, and imagine that you are. Um, Imagine that you are an Azure administrator for a company and you are requested to create a role based on the following requirements, which are listed here. So you want your new role to be able to view all the resources and so all the resource groups in a subscription, to create and update a support ticket, and of course to use the principle of list privilege. I want to highlight this part because this is quite important. And even in real life, don't forget that um, this is one of the principles that's quite important to use. And for the exam day, you can expect to get a um, JSON file like this one and to fill in the missing blanks. So as you can see in here, um, you are required to know what actions under permissions are needed in here. I, I'd say, in my opinion, I'd say that we shouldn't know this by heart because we can go 
anytime to the documentation and check in there because uh, that's well that's quite handy and I wouldn't try to remember these things but they want you to know so if we think about the first missing slot so actually if we see in here if you all the research is in the subscription for this one we already have an action which is this one Microsoft resources slash subscriptions slash resource groups read so this part is already covered create and update a support ticket and for that I already um, filled in the second missing part which is Microsoft that support slash ampersand so this is something you should know by heart I'd say of course the answer is already in the requirement but you are supposed to know that after that you have a slash and an ampersand and for the first missing part I think this is the tricky one the tricky part because you want that your new role is able to create a role um, a role so it will need actually it will need to be able to read roles and roll assignments and that's why this is the part that is missing microsoft.authorization slash ampersand slash read and if we go to this built-in role support request contributor in the documentation which is here you're gonna see that in the actions that it has this these three actions read role central requirements get or list resource groups so this one which already exists and create an update to support ticket so for the exam try to remember or try to find some maybe some connections that will help you to remember these things a little bit sorry a little bit easier